What's up guys? Today we're going to try to do the acoustic version of Death of a Strawberry from Dance Gavin Dance. If you go on YouTube and you type in, what is it, Journeys, Journeys, Dance Gavin Dance, Death of a Strawberry, there's a cool video of them playing this uh, live. And we're going to try to play it exactly like they did right there. There's going to be probably a, a bunch of new chord shapes for you. It's going to be good. It's good uh, dexterity exercise for your left hand, but the real challenge is going to be if you're able to mute the strings that you you don't want to hear. And it can be pretty tricky. I just recorded the tutorial part for the video and I realized that I should have practiced some of these chords a little bit more and it would have made this a lot easier. But um, good luck with it and I hope you have fun playing it. All right, now before we get going, make sure to click on that subscribe button, check the links down below, and you can grab my best beginner chord chart if you don't have it already. And um, remember that I teach guitar lessons on Skype, so if you want a little bit of extra help learning this song a little bit faster, or maybe there's a different song that you want to learn how to play, or if you want to learn about some of the music theory behind a song, or... There's all kinds of different things we can do. If you just want to ask questions to somebody, then check the links down below and um, we can talk about that. And let's get into the song. So this song is going to be in standard tuning. Here's my E. And we're going to try to do this video a little bit differently than normal. I'm going to play each riff. Well, we'll start off, we'll play a riff and I'll put the guitar tabs up, I'll play it nice and slow, and then after that I'll do a little breakdown of the chord shapes and the strumming patterns that I'm using. And for this riff, you might notice that my strumming hand does kind of pause a little bit, it's a little bit jerky. That's just how the guy uh, was playing the song, and it ends up feeling about probably the easiest way to do it, so that's intentional. And the song starts out with probably my favorite riff in the song, and it goes like this. For most of these chords, I'm not really gonna, I'm not gonna give them a, a name. The reason why is we're, they're not gonna be full chords, we're kind of implying chords, and sometimes they're just intervals, and it'll just be easier if we just say shape one, shape two, and so on. The very first chord, I will call it by its name, because it's a pretty common shape, it's an E major seven, so that's nothing on the sixth string, seven, six, four, four, four. Then we have a real quick shape that's just on two strings. We have nothing on the sixth string. Then we have zero and then nine. And it's just on those two strings. So I'm not playing the other ones. And then the next shape is going to be nine, nothing, 13, and then 11. Nothing, nothing. And this is one of those trickier ones to mute because I have to hold down the note on the sixth string and then let my first finger touch all of the other strings that I'm not playing. So we only want to hear the three notes that we're holding down. And then after that I have one more real quick shape that's nothing on the sixth string, 11, 11, 13. And then nothing, nothing. And the strumming that I'm using for it, it's it's a long one, but I'll still call it out. I'm going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. And then to continue on, I'm, I'm going to start from this chord. So right on that down, I went down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. Down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. And hopefully that's not too confusing. It might be easiest just to listen one more time real slow. It's... Hello? Hey, what's up? What's up? Shooting a video right now. Did you hear about the uh, about that guy that accidentally fell into the well? Yeah, it turns out he couldn't see that well. Next riff, we have some new shapes. We have. The 
first one is nothing on the sixth string. Zero, 14, 13, nothing, nothing. And then we move down, so we have nothing on the sixth string. Nine, nothing, 13, 12, nothing. I think that's the hardest part for me going from this chord to that one. And then we slide up the guitar and we have 16, nothing, nothing, 16, 17, nothing. And that one's pretty cool. And then we have nothing on the sixth string, 14, nothing, 16, 16. And that's the last one. Right after that, we have a really simple riff that only has two different chords in it, and it sounds like this. And even though this chord shape only has three notes, it's kind of kind of awkward. It's weird. It's new for me. And it's nothing on the sixth string. Zero. Then we have nothing. Six. Nothing. Four. Now once you get comfortable with that shape, all you have to do is move your fingers up one string and uh, we have the second chord shape. So that one is zero. Nothing. Six, nothing, and then four, and then nothing. In a strumming, it's really easy. It's just down, up, down, up, and then we put palm muting down on the strings really heavy, and you just hit it three times. And then you do the same thing on the next chord. And then the last time you're on that second chord, we're going to strum it this time. All down strums. Right after that, we move into a riff that sounds like this. And to strum that, I'm just going to strum down, down, up, up, down, up. And for the chord shapes, we have a zero or an open on the sixth string. And then we have 11, nothing, 13, nothing, nothing. And then the next chord shape, we have nine, nothing, nothing, eight, nothing, 11. And again, you really have to practice muting all the other strings. That can be kind of tricky on some of these. And then the next shape is five, nothing, seven, nothing, nine, nothing. And then the next one is four, nothing, six, four, nothing, nothing. And then we have two, nothing, nothing, four, five, nothing. And then we have a little move where we go. And to do that, we first we start off, we have four, nothing, nothing, four, five. We hit it once, and then we let go with our third finger, and we have a little shape that goes four, nothing, nothing, six, nothing, nothing. And then we move our pinky up one more string, and we are back to that chord shape we did a minute ago, which was four, nothing, six, Four. That little piece again is down, up, 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 down, up. And then we have a chord that goes four, nothing, nothing, four, nothing, four. And then the very last chord shape is five, nothing, nothing, six, nothing, four. And now there's just one last new riff in the song, and it sounds like this. three more chord shapes. The first one is nine, nothing, nothing, nine, nine. 
This one is nothing, 12, nothing, 14, nothing, 16. And then you move that shape up one string and you have 12, nothing, 14, nothing, 16, nothing. All right, guys, that's all the riffs. If you get all five of those riffs, you should be able to listen to the video and sort of uh, piece them together. They just, it's those same riffs, just repeat at the end. And um, let me know if you have any questions or requests for other songs. You can put them down in the comments or get a hold of me on social media. Guys, if you can, please remember to hit a like and a share of this video. That could really help me out a lot. And guys, thanks so much for making uh, 9,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. And I will just see you next time.